right, we're checking out the only game where becoming friends with animals is the best way to get you killed. It's Move Animals. Move Animals is one of those games where you get to use the ragdoll bodies of things in order to complete the different missions. But since it's animals, it's completely amazing! As you can see, we have a nice doge here. Loyal, loving, completely able. <laughs> <laughs> to accordion his entire body. I love how he's sitting here and he's like, Grace, stop. With people, it's always funny, but with animals, it's so much, oh my God. He's like, I'm going into the underworld. Hold on, let me see if I can, there we go. Yes, sink down to the core of the earth. All right, so I have to make the dog sit. As you can imagine, oh, wow. This dog could be like an incredible soccer player. Oh, I can almost reach her head. I can just, like, right, there it is. Hey, you want my paw, like, in your eyeball? All right, let me see if I can get this sitting thing done over here. There we go, perfect. This is how a dog would sit if he didn't have a spine. I don't, I can't even tell what I'm grabbing anymore. Okay, so that goes there, and then this leg, oh, that looks like it hurts. The dog is like, it doesn't bend that way. Where? Where does it go? There it is. Okay, right about there. And, oh, it's like a little turkey leg. Look, I'm just kidding. Don't eat your dog. Got it. Good boy. Oh, yes. I love the top-notch voice acting. Brought to you by Google Translate. Help the puppies. Help the puppies. Like, oh. Oh, bye. <laughs> the puppy's like, later, y'all. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> How far can I bring it? <laughs> oh, he fell off the board. No, I lost one of the, I lost one of the puppy. <laughs> ah, there's like a ledge there. I have to restart. Okay, let me help the puppy. All right, so you gotta take the puppy. All right, you gotta put him. Whoa. I love that this puppy wanted to be an astronaut when he grows up. All right, get on the couch. The it really? Well, I think I can save this puppy. Just come on, just over. I, you managed to get over the couch the first time. There we go. Oh, he's gone. I'm gonna be starting this a lot. All right, puppy number one, got him. Oh, nope. Never mind. All right, puppy number one, puppy number one. Stop fighting to the deck. Get on the couch. He just drop kicked the other puppy. Oh no. What are these puppies made out of? God, they're like little furry Twizzlers. All right, there. No! Don't you do Oh, it still counts. Yes. My one puppy just got possessed by the exorcist, but it still counted. All right. Got the angry dog. Oh, never mind. He's not angry. He just needs to catch the bone. Catch the treat. I love how involved my owner is. He's like, I threw it, I'm out of here. This isn't even my dog. All right, catch the treat. So first thing you have to do as, as a dog is you have to levitate over to the tree. Now do I have to, oh, that actually counted. I caught the treat. I feel like you should be more impressed by my ability to shove my pelvis over my own head. Now I'm gonna eat the treat. Hug owner, I, that's kind of a hug. I love how it shows me exactly what I have to do because it knows how bad I am. I do have to, it doesn't look so much like a hug as it does look like a football tackle. All right, you put your left leg in. Oh, see, that's right there. Put the right leg here. There we go, right about like that. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and deliver the uppercut. <laughs> Final Fantasy, finish her! <laughs> ah, the arm went straight through the torso! <laughs> <laughs> I love the look on the dog's face. He's like, this is amazing. I would never get away with this normally. All right, now take the other arm here. And we put her, put his head right on her arm. There. <laughs> Not only has he murdered her with his paw, he is also now feasting upon her forearm. And she's like, eh, better than paying taxes. Can I, can I get this to work? Like where does, oh, I have to put it way down here. He's still eating her. Pet the puppy. Can, can I make her do something stupid now? Oh, this counts as petting. <laughs> I feel like that was not petting at all. Young girls crying. Why is there a deer just looming in the background like a creeper? This deer's like, ha ha, that girl's crying. That's what she gets for putting her dinner seat out by the river. Yeah, stop messing around with nature. The dog's like, don't you talk about my owner that way. Ugh. Oh, this looks so comfortable. This dog can moonwalk. Hold on, if I go like this, here it is. 
There, I've turned him into like every demon in every horror movie. How they walk toward you, crab walking like this. They're like, rah, 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 rah. <laughs> she's like, I don't want it to hug me anymore. No, you bought this dog. It's your responsibility. So now he's gonna demon walk over to me. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I downloaded this. There we go. Yes, perfect. Oh, 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 no, no, don't, don't look at her. Don't look at her. Look at the ground. Come on, buddy. You can do it. That's it. You got two legs there. You're like almost there. All right. I guess you can sit up now. She's like, young cannibal, please. Do you love me? And he's like, of course I do. I'm insane. All righty. Let's go ahead and put the paw on the shoulder. There, there. In the beginning, this deer was probably like, she gets what she gets, but now he's probably like, oh my God, that dog needs to be removed from the planet. Rub the belly. Rub the coronary artery. You are rubbing inside of the dog's chest cavity. Well, I mean, he seems to like it. Ah, the cat must jump on top of the tree. Okay, there we go. Oh, never mind. The cat can just leave. Bye. Oh! Oh my god! It's Slenderman Cat! What? <laughs> this is this is one of the most cursed feline images I've ever seen in my life. On the plus side, he looks almost like a little parachute or like a kite. So if he falls from this height, he'll just float toward the ground. Alright, let's put him in the tree. Can I can I put him in the tree? Oh yeah, he just kind of flips out like a psychopath and wait for it, wait for, oh, I'm hitting my head on the tree. Well, this is bad. I didn't actually think about this. I don't know how to get back around the tree. Oh! 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 <laughs> this is not what a cat looks like. <laughs> this game is amazing. Count it, count it. <laughs> count it. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? I guess the cat's supposed to sleep on the tree, but it doesn't look like he's sleeping. It's just look like he's giving up the will to live. Uh, <laughs> oh! You know how like sometimes you tell your dog to sit or you tell him to roll over or something? Well, how about telling the cat like, all right, little isosceles, pretend you're getting abducted by aliens. He's like, <laughs> Good job. You can have the tree now. All right, there we go. And we're set. Cat on the head. I own four cats. I don't think I would trust any of them to lay on my head like this. Do you know what's on your head? Your eyes. Do you know what a cat has? Claws. Do you know what happens if your cat blinds you? They get all the food that you have in the house and they get to eat you. So I just, do I just throw him on the head? Does he have, does he have... There's like gravity. I love how gravity affected the puppies, but it does not even in the slightest affect the cat. Oh, the person has like, they have mass. Oh, this is interesting. Now the cat is fused into the person. Well, it kind of looks like he's pooping the cat out. He's like, oh, I shouldn't have had that extra slice of pizza. Ugh. All right. Oh, yep. And the other thing is look at what you can make the cat do. Like the dogs can't do this. This cat is moving at Mach 90. There you go, cat's on the head. All right, now you gotta put the cat legs down here. I make the cat do anything else? How come the cat gains a bunch of stability when he's on top of a human head? Yeah, you would not be saying that. Oh my God, tell me I get to manipulate a deer. Limited edition stuff on the graystillplays.store, including a signed poster, yeet. Oh yes, eat grass. I love how the task for a puppy is to hug the owner. The cat has to like jump on a tree. The only thing a deer needs to do to survive is eat grass. Luckily, there happens to be one single piece of grass. Woo! Now, does does the life of a deer, is it any worse than a cat? Or like, is it maybe as bad as a dog? I would put the deer close to the dog in terms of Satan power. So does it matter how I eat the grass? Can I eat the grass upside down? Like, does that count? Can I eat the grass underneath the ground? Right, right about there actually worked pretty good. Drink water. Joke's on you, this isn't water. It's antifreeze. You're welcome. Oh, that's way too extravagant. You're, you're, you're hoping for a lot from me, game. All right, so let me, oh, can I make him do the demon walk? What is this? Deer can't demon walk? Oh, they kinda can. Oh, yep. 
You can totally demon walk. It may actually be worse as a deer. Tell me, Mr. Stag, do you love me? And the stag's like, ah, oh, no. Yes, you do. Come here. <laughs> all right, now, just kind of here. Just let me put, all right, so I'm going to put my leg on your shoulder. I need to crack my back. I pulled something. So yeah, let's put that there, and then this, like that, and then that leg. What, how did that, how did that count? I'm nowhere near the nose. I have literally fused two deer together. I am a double deer. Your love story awaits. Yeah, I don't think with me it's ever a love story, but I'll begin. Ah, uh, dog sad and alone, walking in the rain, when suddenly he sees a light. What could it mean? It probably means that someone's gonna die! Could you be a new owner? Look at me, I'm a stray dog that may or may not enjoy the taste of human flesh. Yep, just let me right into the house, don't worry. Dry the dog. I mean, I guess at least she doesn't put me inside of the oven or something to dry me off. Oh yeah. Go to human! You couldn't even give her a name! All right, so do I, I only have one spot to grab. Oh, so I literally just drag him around. Well, let's go see the rest of the house first. See what we're dealing with here. This is this looks like a maybe like a one bedroom. I think I can probably find a better owner here. Oh, I gotta go sign into my YouTube channel real quick. Hold on, lady. Where's your bathroom at? All right, let me lay down here. Yeah, can you get me a drink while you're at it? She's like, yeah, I'll go pour you some water. Water! I want delicious beer. The next day. Now we're out together, playing. Play with the dog. I can get a collar or a ball. This doesn't seem like it's any fun. Give me the ball. What, I have to have the collar in order to have fun? Are you kidding me? Lie down. Now I have to lie down with this deer in order to make more money to buy a collar. I'm not lying down. I'm gonna headbutt this deer to death. Hey, I got a dog that wants to have fun in life and he can't because you're in the way. The faster you die, <laughs> the faster I can go back to my dog. There, it's lying down. Why is this not good enough? All right, how the leg kind of goes here. Ooh. Ah, uh, yeah, it's fine. There we are. And hey, I think I killed it. Oh, here we go. It's a deer battle. First things first. We've got to do the Hadouken to the other deer here. Would you call me? The deer's like, I didn't I didn't call you anything. I wanted to eat that piece of grass over there. For my honor, you must die. All right, so you gotta put, so bring this forward kind of there, and then this one goes way up here. It doesn't really look like I'm fighting. It looks like I'm about to high five the other deer. All right, there we go. That's that's the first part of this. Actually, again, it looks less like a fight. It looks more like a slap fight. I like how this deer can just nope out. He's like, I'm not dealing with this. Later. <laughs> All right, put that paw there. And then this. Ah! Oh! This dude's like, what are you doing? He's like, I'm stretching. Ah! Oh! All right, I'm ready to go. Here we, here we go. There. Combat! It's a tie? Are you kidding me? Oh, I got the points I needed to finish my love story. All right, I got the collar. Now I can I continue the story. Did. Put the collar on. This dog would not be this happy. He'd be like, what are you doing? This is the instance where you have to like blindfold the dog and put him in a headlock and then get the collar on. All right, we're gonna go ahead. And now normally you would put the collar on from the front, but we're actually gonna, what? How? You know what? Not gonna ask any questions. It worked though. Throw the ball. Uh, yeah! <laughs> I ate people and people ate me and the only thing I got out of it was a collar and a ball. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Move Animals. Till next time, stay foxy, much love.